So before RCIA, I was a Protestant for about 50 years and went through a lot of different Protestant churches and denominations. And to be honest, the faith I had when I was 20 was slowly dying as I moved through time, a, a slow degradation of my faith. So it was uh, getting to a pretty unsustainable point. I wasn't getting what I needed for guidance. Uh, the Protestant churches and denominations have all different variations of interpretations of the Bible and they read it different ways and, and if you went from one church to another it's different and to be honest I found a lot of discrepancies or inconsistencies or conflicts in what they were saying and for something as important as your faith uh, I think more direction and uh, guidance is needed by uh, an authoritative an authority on the subject matter. Yeah, so funny enough, my 16-year-old son, who grew up in a Protestant church, was having the same struggles I was with uh, different interpretations and, and things, you know, would be said on one Sunday that conflicted with something said on another Sunday, or conflicting with what's said in the Bible, and so in his struggle, he quietly started going to RCIA at Sacred Heart because he was searching and he wasn't getting uh, what he needed. And he kept it a secret from us. And we discovered that every Wednesday night when he left uh, where he was going. So I went to RCIA strictly for the purpose of talking him out of becoming Catholic. So as it turns out, uh, when I went to RCIA to disprove the Catholic faith and method, uh, I found a home. I, I found all these conflicts, these things that didn't make sense, uh, these dichotomies. It, it, it all, all the major issues that I struggled with in the Protestant faith were being resolved week by week as I went to RCIA. So I went there to prove it wrong and uh, end up uh, finding a better way. I had never heard of RCIA before that. Uh, to be honest, I was uh, frankly somewhat afraid of the Catholic Church because I thought it was, uh, I was always taught bad things about it, so you, you can describe that in a lot of ways, but uh, I was very concerned that uh, my son was going Catholic, so I didn't know what RCIA was. He had explained it to me, and I was very concerned that he was becoming Catholic. And So really amazing, um, you know, with this, with, again, with something as important as our faith, um, relying on each individual's interpretation of the Bible and sort of creation of what their faith is going to be uh, it is, is not uh, productive or appropriate. So for example, you know, the Catholic Church has 2,000 years of history tradition, study, some of the best minds in the world studying the things, you know, the Bible's not an easy read, let's face it. And uh, all that experience and, and, and through that experience becomes this authority. Um, it really changed my focus on this distraction of all these things that didn't make sense to a fairly concise, clear path of how to exercise my faith how to venerate Jesus Christ, uh, all these things um, sort of came together. And I could give you a good example, which is you can give someone a cookbook, and it can be the best cookbook in the world. If they have no experience in cooking, they're probably not going to get the results they want, or it's going to be really hard. Same thing with working on your car. I can give you a, I used to be a mechanic, I can give you a mechanic book. That doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be able to rebuild your motor. So there's a degree of experience and art and, and uh, other things than just the words in a book to put it together in a productive and efficient and streamlined way. So I really found 
I was worried that the Catholic faith was going to have all these rules that I had to follow and it was going to be hard. And actually, those rules make the practice of your faith easier. At least they do for me. Um, I don't have to keep questioning, you know, is it, is it the... Is it the Christian church that's right? Is it the Baptist church that's right? It, it gives me an authoritative path to follow in my faith that certainly incorporates the Bible, but also incorporates this long history of study and experience in raising Christians, right? So um, I'm very, uh, in a sense, I'm very relieved it's a lot lower burden um, to focus on practicing the faith and obedience to the faith than trying to figure out what that even is. Hello everyone, my name is Deacon Rich Mishney and I'm here at Sacred Heart of Jesus Parish and I am the director of the Becoming Catholic series. Uh, this will be my 13th year doing this. It's a wonderful ministry and if you or someone you know has an interest in becoming Catholic or just interested in finding out about Catholicism, this extraordinarily rich and beautiful uh, spirituality, this way of life, uh, please call me at the parish office. You can email me. I would love to talk to you and meet with you. And uh, God, I'm always amazed at how active God is in each and every one of your lives. And I hope to hear from you soon.